Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I will do a comparison between the Xperia Pro Eyes main camera system with the Sony Cybershot RX Zero Mark II also featuring a 1 inch sensor both featuring 1 inch sensor and this might be very interesting I did this recording and test actually a few months before when I got the Xperia Pro Eye but never came to do a full video so apologies in front already uh, see my old hairstyle and i think it was autumn when i was recording this anyway uh, the xperia pro i versus the rx zero mark ii how are the cameras how good are they is the full usage of one inch sensor better with a smaller aperture than the xperia pro i which doesn't use the whole sensor size Let's find out and let's get started. And here we go. We have those two devices here, the RX Zero Mark II. As you can see here, f-stop 4.0 and 24 millimeter uh, wide lens. Uh, you don't have the option to zoom in. Tessa T-Star coating, so the same as the Sony Xperia Pro I that also has a Tessa T star coating, also 24 millimeter lens, but the lens is not covering the whole sensor, even though we have an F2 here and an F4. Here we only have the smaller F4, but you can see that the opening is a bit bigger on the Xperia Pro I, though this one is covering the whole one inch sensor and this one is not. So here you can see the specs on the screen and we start off with some video clips. 1080p, 60 frames per second, Xperia Pro I F2. And uh, this is what you can expect in terms of quality of this one inch sensor and in terms of stabilization of this one inch sensor. Now check out the uh, Sony Cybershot DSC RX Zero Mark II to see how this will perform. And now we're recording with the RX Zero Mark II, and this is the stabilization you get. This is f4 fixed. You cannot change the aperture to f2, just like on the um, Xperia Pro I. And this is stabilization. This is the same microphone going in here. And uh, this is what you get uh, in 50 frames per second because it's the PAL version. I could have changed it to 60 maybe, but yeah, for this uh, I don't see much of a difference in terms of this. It has a little bit of a different kind of approach with a fixed focus that you set uh, when you start the recording. And if I get a bit closer, it's not focusing until I refocus where it can do the refocus but if I hold it here a bit I have to refocus again and then it should focus on my face again and this should work fine it's a nice little vlogging setup I would say and if the battery is holding very long uh, I could imagine using this even because it's like waterproof you can use it in the rain and the snow and whenever you want to and it's a dedicated camera which is pretty nice and I think the quality is also okay but what do you think about this one in comparison to the Xperia Pro I which one has the better one inch sensor this one using the whole one inch sensor and on the Xperia Pro I only using yeah almost everything of the sensor so you might want to know if the RX Zero Mark II is also something good for vlogging so I'm holding it currently in my hand and I'm using the internal microphones because it has two microphones in front and I'm um, yeah, looking into the camera here holding it in my hand and it's pretty pretty small I can even like uh, show you this with my Xperia here so let's move around and here you can see me recording maybe like this a little bit better where you can see the flip screen and uh, you can also see the two microphone holes there uh, super the sun is coming out here and uh, yeah you can see how i'm recording this here how it is acting against the sun uh, with the sun and how it looks like uh, with the rx0 mark ii what do you think about this quality here uh, that you can achieve with the RX Zero Mark II for vlogging. 
And now I'm using the Xperia Pro I with its back rear mono mic and the sun is shining on my face. How is vlogging here with this camera? I think it is a little bit better here and there. Also dynamic range if I turn to the sun. Could be probably a bit worse, I don't know, because it's f2 now recording and not f4. f2 means I get a bit of more shallow depth of field. But what do you think about this uh, quality of this? Uh, and uh, let me show you the... Uh, let me show you the camera hole as well. So it's now recording here with the RX0 Mark II. And uh, if I turn to the sun, you should see also there above the camera is the camera hole, is the microphone hole and camera hole. And uh, yeah, this is recording then the audio and hopefully also filtering out wind noises that you might hear. And uh, yeah, what do you think about uh, vlogging quality? Which one is better for vlogging? Which one has the better stability uh, when it comes to so the... Let's take a look at photos. We can see the RX0 Mark II on the left and the Xperia Pro I on the right. First, you can see there's a different in aspect ratio. We have 3 by 2 on the RX0 and we have uh, 4 by 3 on the Xperia Pro I. So have a little bit of... Uh, more up and down here. We have 16 megapixels on the RX0 using the full sensor. And we have uh, 12 megapixels uh, on the Xperia Pro I. So that is an indication already that the Pro I is using the um, RX100 Mark 7 sensor, which is 20 megapixels. And the RX0 only using 16 megapixels means that it probably has an older version of an older RX100 uh, lineup uh, one inch sensor. And what you can see here in nighttime photography is already both taken in auto mode. A big difference. The RX0 cannot cope with it at all. You can see it's completely unsharp, has noise all over the floor and uh, yeah it's not performing very well here and you can see also the ISO is uh, going very high at 25,600 uh, ISO rating and as you can see uh, roughly 15.4 megapixels or 16 megapixels on paper. It took an exposure time of one fourth of a second. And when we compare this with the Xperia Pro I, first of all, you can see the Xperia Pro I a lot more sharper. Even though it has noise, it is a lot more sharper and uh, doesn't have this yellow tint. It has a more magenta tint, but you can see much more details on this photo, even though it appears to be a little bit darker. Why does it appear to be a little bit darker? Because when we take a look at the ISO rating, it's only 6,400 ISO where the automatic capped it and it is also using exposure time of one fourth of a second but because the automatic also is doing multiple exposures and stitching them together laying them one over another this can create a much better and nicer shot so this is in um, dark conditions let's take a look in very dark conditions let's take a look at a bit more brighter conditions we can see here also a bit of a difference first of all both have a good exposure i would say they have a difference in white balance it's much more yellow on the rx0 and much more white on the xperia pro i when we zoom in you can see also again not more noise on the rx0 because the rx0 doesn't have this uh, stacking process of images where it takes multiple images and stack them together and uh, to create a much more smoother image, which the Xperia Pro I can do. So in dark conditions, definitely the RX0 is not better in automatic mode. Of course, you can do long exposures in manual mode, but this is some uh, something different. Let's take a look at the close-up shots. You can see that the Xperia Pro I, despite being like uh, having a larger aperture here, you can get a little bit closer to the flower here. Close focusing distance is a bit closer than on the RX0 Mark II. This has something to do also with uh, only using partially or a part of the sensor on the Xperia Pro I, which is a bit smaller than the RX0, which is using the whole one inch sensor. When it comes to sharpness, no difference at all. You can see it is the same. I don't see much of a difference, maybe even a tiny bit, a tad bit sharper on the RX0 Mark II. Um, what we can see here is has also something to do with the RX0 Mark II having the f-stop number 4 and so fixed 4 and the Xperia Pro I already has this smoothness here because it is f2 that I did this photo with and what we can see also is that you get not only the 
better background blur look at this flower here and look at here it's yeah the difference in f2 and f4 it is the background take a look at the background here overexposed and here it looks like it's not so overexposed so there is a bit more dynamic range in this photo as well but this is only if you really pixel peep. Let's take a look at the other photo to take a look at white balance and colors and so on. And here I have to say, very interesting because the Xperia Pro I has the more accurate colors and the RX0 Mark II struggles a little with colors, especially red color. First of all, when it comes to white balance, I think both good at good did a good job. Maybe a tiny bit more yellowish on the RX0 um, again. When we zoom in now on the details, let's take a look at the details. You can see that 60 megapixels was 12 megapixels, but even if I go a little bit deeper here, you can see there's not much of a difference. Maybe a tiny bit of sharpening going on on the Xperia Pro I. A bit more details on the Xperia Pro I. It could be sharpening. It could be also that it is simply sharper. So let's zoom out here and zoom onto the edges to see if we see a difference yes we can see a difference here again a lot softer on the rx0 a bit more sharper on the xperia pro i so definitely some sharpening going on probably on the xperia pro i but let's take a look at this sign here you saw what Woolworth is in red color here the rx0 yeah used some kind of orangish or yellowish color which is definitely not the true here and the other thing is you can see already a dynamic range difference here look at the sign where my mouse pointer points to and compare it with here first of all this is orange again this is red like it should be because it is red all this discount uh, kind of notices are red and you can see clearly the sign and here it is like overblown the highlight is overblown same you see with the stop sign there and with other things in the background that are simply overblown on the RX0 where the Xperia Pro I, at least if you have HDR enabled, can walk uh, against this. And um, the same for this kind of supermarket here. The sign is red. It is not this orange that the RX0 Mark II did. And do we see here much of a difference? A bit light, slightly overblown. Uh, highlights here where the Xperia Pro I is uh, managing them. We took a look at the signs here. You can see that also a lot sharper, a lot more softer on the RX0 and you can see noise already creeping in on the RX0 where you don't see this issue on the Xperia Pro I. So very impressed by the Xperia Pro I so far. Let's take a look at another shot here. Again the same issue on the RX0. For some reason the white balance is uh, yellow again and it's not white as the Xperia Pro I is doing it here. Um, so yeah, uh, the Xperia Pro I definitely better in terms of sharpness. Take a look here. Yeah, again, I think a slightly bit of um, less sharpened RX0 Mark II, maybe a bit, yeah, artificial sharpening on Xperia Pro I, but it, it's not hurting the eyes. So I would like prefer the Xperia Pro I here in this case because it has this sharper kind of uh, feeling, which I prefer. It's not too sharp. But it's not as soft as the RX0, which is a tad too soft in my taste. And you can see it throughout the signs here uh, as well in the background. And again, color differences here. It is blue. Those trousers, I think it is, were blue. They were not like this kind of greenish <laughs> tint that they get here. Uh, or darkish green blue on the RX0 Mark II. So there is a difference in colors, uh, definitely. And the Pro I does take better colors pictures. Of course, you can correct everything with RX0 Mark II because it's a really small, tiny little camera. Uh, but by default, this is what you get. Then indoors, uh, again, details, detail levels. Uh, let's take a look at the stitching here of this pillow. And you can see, yeah, a lot softer on the RX0 Mark II in general. So the uh, you can see more details. Um, on the Xperia Pro I, it is just simply sharper, a lot sharper than the uh, RX0 Mark II. Let's take a look at dynamic range. We can also see a big difference here. The Xperia Pro I, if you have HDR option enabled, can create those shots. On the RX0 Mark II, I stick to intelligent auto to create those photos because I think it's such a small, tiny camera. Of course, you can do all the manual stuff if you want to. Uh, you can do the same on the Xperia Pro I. 
um, and I also did some manual shots between them as well to compare them but uh, even if you have some HDR kind of thing on the RX0 Mark II enabled where it takes three shots to do some HDR effect you can see the Xperia Pro I is a lot better especially here in the cloud uh, area which is uh, totally overblown on the RX0 and totally visible on the Xperia Pro I. Uh, daylight sharpness um, again a little bit softer than RX0 Mark II but it doesn't really disturb here. I think it's pretty good and uh, awesome so no issues there. Let's take a look at another shot where you can see the dynamic range yeah different of course the cloud came here for some reason uh, but uh, so it changed a little bit the exposure here with the blue sky but I think both did a good job where we can see more shadows on the RX0 Mark II and you can see slightly different kind of uh, shot that I took here I think more of the blue sky less of the blue sky here more of the ground but in general the ground is a bit uh, yeah lighter here on the Xperia Pro I when it comes to sharpness I would even say uh, both are good it's a little bit overblown on the Xperia Pro I, we can see the cars as well here as well. The sun is shining the same kind of way, but you can see here on the RX0 Mark II, I think it does a better job with exposing a little bit darker here, where it remain the, where it remains more details on the cars, for example, where this is overblown on Xperia Pro I. So clearly, there's a difference in this shot. Let's take another shot here. This is shot to compare also colors a little bit where you can see that the green grass really was um, yeah, a little bit more into the yellowish kind of that the Xperia Pro I is showing here than the RX0 Mark II which looks not that dull in, in colors. Maybe not as punchy as on the Xperia Pro I but it's somewhere in between both did not manage to get the right color here. What is uh, pretty interesting is that uh, in terms of sharpness again f4 versus f4 so both now in f4 and you can see that the xperia pro i has a little bit more sharpness again but a bit less overexposure here in this container area and uh, yeah i think both did a good job when it comes to this i'm gonna take a look at the people here i would even prefer the rx0 mark ii a little bit uh, in terms of detail level here in this case but I took another shot here with f2 to compare and to see if we see much of a difference here in terms of sharpness and in terms of uh, what it figured out here and I think it is okay as well so what do you think about this one I think here the RX0 Mark II might have a slight edge in this kind of photo but in general you can see the HDR is much more pleasant on the Xperia Pro I if you turn it on than on the RX0 Mark II. The RX0 Mark II is like a traditional camera taking those shots against the sun uh, with yeah, what you can see here and the Xperia Pro I looks a bit more artificial but also a bit nicer as well. Raising the shadows, making the colors a little bit more punchy and uh, yeah, controlling the highlights. And you can see the same here as well. Which is very interesting again the color is a bit more punchy a bit more yellowish here on the xperia pro i and a bit more cooled down so for the greens for some reason we have a little bit more dull colors on the rx0 mark ii um, and yeah here the background again overexposure and non overexposure so hdr clear winner is the xperia pro i so this is basically everything for the photos. What do you think about those photos? What do you think about uh, the resolution and details? I think the F2 has like a, a bit of an advantage on the Xperia Pro I. Colors on the Xperia Pro I look a little bit more lively. And I think in overall the Xperia Pro I wins against the RX0 Mark II. Even though the RX0 Mark II can use the whole sensor, the Xperia Pro I only a part of it. Uh, this comparison, even if I for the Xperia Pro I beats the RX0 Mark II in almost every image and looks more pleasant to the eyes. Even though the Xperia Pro I, th I think, is doing also some artificial sharpening here and there. It's not only natural sharpening and the RX0 Mark II is not doing this. I still prefer the Xperia Pro I's uh, photos. What do you think? Write it down in the comment section. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.